G'day, it's Rob from Canberra and you wouldn't believe this, this is take five. I'm supposed to be a pro at this, but when I'm in front of the camera it's a bit different. I've stuffed up with not turning the microphone on, then the card got full and cut me out halfway through a video, then I must have forgotten to push the record button even though I looked and it seemed to be recording. And anyway, here we go. So, a bit about me, I'm Rob, I live in Canberra, Australia. Canberra's the capital. In case you don't know, it's about three hours from Sydney by car and about six hours from Melbourne. You most likely have heard of those two cities. I am a father of two great kids. I love spending as much time as possible with them. It wasn't always the way where I could spend a lot of time with them. I had to miss out on my daughter when she had special assemblies and all sorts of sporting events and that type of thing, which made me feel really bad because I was working an office job and quite often I'd be going in early, coming home late and just seeing her for one or two hours in the night. So that wasn't my ideal cup of tea. So getting to the office job, I worked for Foreign Affairs and Trade for about 23 years. I had a variety of jobs, such as working in the mailroom, where I'd occasionally go on trips overseas or down to Melbourne, delivering the safe hand stuff. I also worked in security for a while, looked after the passes. I worked in desktop publishing, which I enjoyed. Then I was in, oh, then I went off on a posting to Beijing. That was a good experience, but the work was really mundane and not terribly thrilling. So I came back, I ran the intranet at the department for a couple of years, and then I got into payroll. So all of that time, I was never really doing what I really was passionate about, and it was just for the sake of getting money. Also, back when I was working, I was playing volleyball quite often. I played on the professional beach volleyball tour here and that was great fun. It was heading like to something that was going to be a full-time sport for me but then I can't go into the details but for whatever reason the tour fell through. Kaplat, I almost cried but that was the end of that so I had to focus on earning money through my office job but as I said I was never really inspired by that it's not, not something I really wanted to do. I remember the very first week I was there, I sat around a table where we had a staff meeting and it was all males. It's changed a lot since then, but anyway, it was all males and they all had huge big bellies and I thought to myself, this is not the place for me. It took me 23 years to get out of there, but finally I did it. When I did finally get away from that job, I was asking to take long service leave because I'd been there so long I accumulated quite a lot of long service leave and I told my boss, okay, it's time to take long service leave and he said, sorry, can't do it. There's no one to fill in for you while you're not here. And seeing I was running the payroll, it was kind of a crucial function. People like getting paid. So I said, train someone. And then he said, yep, we need to do that. And then I told him again and again and he just didn't do it. So I got fed up and I resigned. I walked out of there. But there was one problem. Because no one could do the job, they had to get me back. They paid me more money and had me as a temp. So I trained people finally, and then I got another offer with good money, so I took the easy option. Instead of going after my dreams, I just worked again in the office, working on payroll and the intranet combined job. It was kind of interesting, but still not terribly thrilling. So Eventually, a boss did me a favour. I actually trained someone too well, so my boss being the guy he was, got rid of me, paid someone a lot less money, but anyway, that was a life lesson. So when you're working for others, you can get screwed over like that, so something to watch out for. Now I'm working from home, I'm spending a lot of time with my kids. I've been doing websites and things, but that gets has its own issues. So recently I was looking for something I could do. I'd been watching the development of a product where they've been putting a lot of money into research and testing and they don't test on animals so that's a great thing. And I finally jumped at it and thought this is a great product I want to promote. So I jumped in there, started thinking okay how do I promote this? I had no real ideas and then one day I came across a fantastic mentor. He has a great plan. 
it works. He's earned millions and millions of dollars online, so he really knows what he's doing. He's actually also spent lots and lots of money on training courses, which he found just didn't do it for him. So he came up with his own system, which he's shown to other people. They're getting good results, and I'm following it now as well. So talking about me, what's my vision? My vision now is to train people to use the system to get ahead in their life and improve their life. And then once they've learnt enough to be a leader, they train someone else as well. So with that cycle, everyone benefits. That comes across myself or the people I help train. So that's my vision. I want to help people, help others. Also, I'd like to be able to have money set aside to put into World Vision. That's a charity that when I was at primary school, I think it was, I actually had my family sponsor a child and we kept track of how his life was being improved by that sponsorship. So I want to do a lot more with World Vision. So that's part of my vision, World Vision. <laughs> and thinking about a lifelong legacy, what do I want to be known for? I want to be able to have my kids look up to me see that what I was doing was a great thing. I want to see them go on to help other people or do something that benefits themselves and others, not just be greedy and look at making money for themselves. I want to also inspire them to look beyond what a lot of people are settling for, like an office job or the nine to five lifestyle. So I want to have them have an open mind and consider different options because the world is rapidly changing, so you need to be aware of what's available and go for it. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering why you should be listening to me. I've had a lot of experience across many different online activities and also in the office. I've had a technical background. I've also had great jobs where I really enjoyed them, such as when I was a multimedia officer at AusAid. I was filming and editing and taking photos. It was a lot of fun meeting interesting people, hearing about fantastic projects being worked on. So that was great. I've also had a sporting background, so learning the values from sports and good clean living and all of that stuff, and being dedicated towards being the best you can in something. But now I'm loving working at home, just working on growing a business and having money, getting out of debt, and being able to help others. So that's what I'm about. I hope that's something that connects you with me and you'd want to work with me as well. So I'm looking forward to getting to know you better. And you can contact me by looking for the details on this page, or you can visit my page, which is on Facebook. It's, I'll put a link below, but it's Robert Keating after the facebook.com and that's about all for now so hopefully this video has actually worked and I, if you are watching it you know it did so this is Rob Keating in Canberra Australia hope you have a great day